This is Jersey Boys, the story of Frankie Valley and the Four Seasons. If you're going to play a singing legend, it doesn't get much better than this, and that's meeting the man himself. You're a singer, I'm a gangster. That's Frankie Valley having a yarn with Bobby Fox, who'll play the legendary singer alongside three other relative unknown actors in the Australian show. It's not just music. It's the way we grew up and the struggle. Sherry, can you come out tonight? I'm going to feel great. I'm going to feel very excited, maybe a little nervous in the beginning. Jersey Boys has been a massive hit in London, Broadway and here in Las Vegas. It's the story of how a group of blue-collar boys from the wrong side of the tracks in New Jersey became one of the biggest pop sensations of all time. A lot of people come to this show unaware that the many familiar songs they've heard over the years all came from this one group from New Jersey. I love you, baby. Frankie Valley hopes to make it to Australia to see the show open in Melbourne in July. But it's going to be a short trip. At 74, he does over 100 concerts a year, still packing them in, and as they say in the show, still singing like an angel. Robert Penfold, Nine News, Las Vegas. My name is Bobby Fox. I'm playing Frankie Valley in Jersey Boys. I'm Scott Johnson and I play Tommy DeVito in Jersey Boys. Hi, my name is Stephen May and I'm playing Bob Gordio. I'm Glaston Toft and I'm playing Nick Massey. Let's try it once with piano. Okay. One, two, three, four. Sit down. This is how you talk to your friends, huh, Frankie? Um. I think that Frankie Valley is, in essence, the heart of the play. I feel as if Frankie was um, one of the stronger uh, factors of, the, of the, the group, you know, taking on, taking on Tommy's debt and also, I mean, when the group was coming to a mice, he, he really fought the most to really keep it together. Tommy DeVito is responsible for getting the group together. He started the band. I think uh, Tommy's ruthless desire to succeed really sort of lights the fuse of the play which goes up like dynamite immediately. Once we're in, we're going and as an audience we feel sort of like we've been taken in and sort of went yeah, on this amazing away. journey straight away with mm -hmm. this really intense energy which I think is infectious. What do you think? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, he was really he really was going to use any means necessary yeah. to get himself out of that neighbourhood. And whether that was to be respected as a man, to join up with the mob, to be a star, I don't think he was that you know, fast which way he went and it happened to be becoming a pop star. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Walk, walk, cut. Like that? Yeah. Middle part. Between them. Walk, 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 walk. And then walk like a man. Like a man. Three parts. One, two, three, four, one. Bob Gordio is the youngest of the group, and he is basically he was the writer of all their music. Really, the uh, the idea behind Sherry Walk Like a Man, Big Girls Don't Cry. He had this musical brain that just sort of exploded, and he, he came up with these three, you know, fantastic yeah. hits, hits straight away, which put these guys on the map. Nick Massey is um, the bass player of the group, one of the original Four Seasons. It's interesting because Nick Massey, the man himself, actually learnt to play the bass guitar when he was in prison. I mean, that's not <laughs> part of the show, but I think one of the great things about the show is that, you know, there's such interesting characters that we do get to play, in, and that's what's one of the reasons for the show's success. Mm. Guys, we're taking from the four sways into the uh -huh. lift of Frankie before you back up and walk upstage, okay? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Really clear, really solid. Be focused on that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Every single bit of choreography in the show, every single move in the show, every single microphone 
move, every single hand gesture, every single chair that gets placed, that's all being choreographed to a T. It was important for me to create choreography that pertained to the, to the characters and to the guys, to the four seasons. When, you, when we take that look at Frankie, you have got to step up and hit him. You've got those four swings. One, two, three, four. Solid look, sharp head. Now we walk back, you push off that leg. Push up, you come back, and when we turn around, you got to take your whole life with you. Everything we talked about before, it's about those, those four guys from Jersey, where they are right now, mm -hmm. right? Our, our third hit, this is it, your whole life coming at you. So you make that turn, and hit, ha ha, leave it to chest, be proud. Proud from the Jersey, that's it. And when we get to this one here, guys, when you step out, you've got to hit it. And each one of them moves in a very particular, very specific way. And, I, and, and it, it, it corresponds to who they are in the show, who that character is. Bob Gotti is a little shyer. You know, Tommy's cocky. Uh, you know, Frankie is a, a little introverted. He's smaller, so his, his movement. And, and Nick is just cool and aloof. So those are the, the, the four components of, of their movement. Drink your wine, Nicky, and shut your trap. The Carlo's not running this group. I am. You could really call Jersey Boys a history. You know, these events really took place. Clearly, we've uh, changed the timeline and, and done the things that, that all dramatists do when they tackle history, whether it's, you know, Goethe, Schiller, or Shakespeare. Uh, uh, but, you know, there is that. I, I think that, that they, they do, they are both real historical characters and they occupy this kind of mythic landscape. Uh, at the same time. Uh, so, so, so at this point, it, we know that he is, that F Francine is just always gone. Uh, it is a kind of hybrid. You know, it's a musical for real actors. You don't necessarily have to like musicals to like Jersey Boys. In fact, I've heard people say, you know, normally I can't stand musicals. My, my wife drags me to them, and I love your show. Jersey Boys, the story of Frankie Valley and the Four Seasons.